Hello, welcome to Kiana Studio. Today I purchased items from Plaza Artist for my art studio. All those supplies are included in this video. So that makes this my very first All Supplies Haul video. And I get a lot of questions about the markers that I use for my illustrations. Those markers are included. I just bought a bunch of them. <laughs> So make sure you watch this whole video so you'll be able to get all of that information. I'm going to use this safflower oil to thin out oil paints and wash my paintbrushes. I'm going to use these small containers to store leftover paint in. I'm going to take these needle tip applicator bottles and do something different with it. I'm thinking about possibly putting acrylic in it and maybe mixing some glitter. I don't know. Whatever I'm going to do is going to be fun and creative. I use these gloss inkjet cards for thank yous. Whenever my customers or clients purchase something, these came with regular white envelopes. The size are five by seven and ten came in a box i can also print birthday invitations announcements and other greeting cards on these this beretta photography fine art paper is wonderful to print both fine art prints and photography on i'm going to be using this for both the name brand Canson is a high quality brand that has been around for over 100 years and this Pacific paper is made of natural materials. I use these plastic archival sleeves for my fine art prints and photographs. I use them so that my work can be protected and it also looks very professional. One of the cool thing about these is that it is resealable. The brand of these professional markers are called Chart Pack. I purchased 10 new Spectra markers. These markers are blendable and non toxic. This is the tri nib. And on the other side is the brush nib. Here's a capital A that I write with my signature. That is the tri nib, and here is the brush nib. You can see the difference. Each color comes with a unique number and name. I'm excited to use these new colors. These are all of my new colors. These markers bleed through paper very easily, so I'm going to use a clipboard. Parting with this stem of the flower. I'm drawing on cardstock paper. Now here are the leaves. drawing the petals now. Here's a sepal and the other. I'm now outlining it with black. Here's my signature finished flower. Please watch my next video.